Well, you're going to have to kiss him soon. He kisses me quite a lot in the show, but he also kisses other people. Does he? I'm not the only one. Oh. Ah. No, it does get quite lustful. Sudden <laughs> <laughs> career change. I still play little chubby loser. <laughs> Very, very quickly on his feet, and the, the only thing he, he can think to do is, is, is to snob them. Kiss them. <laughs> to shut them up and try and get them out of the hotel. So I must explain. Quite this is well. the, Does he quite yeah, good? Quite He's quite a good, good. snogger. Um, oh, this is a play that you're in, Out of Order, which starts in Guildford. It's going to go on a UK tour. So That's right, yeah, yeah. We start in Guildford. It's, it's Ray Cooney is the author. He's a legendary farceur writer. And it's his 70th anniversary in the business. Wow. wow. Oh, <laughs> And he's up, he's there directing this play. A director, on his feet has, to, all day. A director yeah. has to work all day, they don't get any breaks. And he's got more energy now than he had when I first met him in mm. 1973. So, briefly, the story is what and who, who do you both play? Okay, so uh, there's a very naughty MP, if there is such a thing. <laughs> he's, he's in a hotel room with a, a rather beautiful secretary. Ooh, and no, uh, uh, <laughs> they, they, they find something very disturbing in the room uh, uh, that, that means that they can't be caught with this thing. So I nearly said what it was. Yeah. <laughs> he, he phones me uh, as his personal private secretary, says, George, get over here and sort it out. So I'm very efficient, although I'm, I'm a bit of a mummy. I live at home with mum and all that sort of thing. But then... Uh... My husband's name is Mr Willie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Mr Willie. Richard Willie. He's so the I MP. Am, I am Mrs, Mrs. Willie. <laughs> and when I eventually turn up, we have, to, we have to mention here that Susie Amy, who I think you know... Yeah. Who was voted one of the top hundred sexiest women from Footballers' Wives? Yes, yes. from yes. Footballers' Wives. Loses her dress quite early in the procedure. Ah. <laughs> yeah, she's careless, isn't she? Very careless. careless. So well, we do see her in her underwear. There she is. Quite I have a to, lot of the I have to stress, despite that, 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 you know, it's very much a family show. I want to make you know yeah. make sure that people know there's no swearing in it and there's no overt. It's a good old family fans. show, despite that. And as you say, we're going everywhere. We're going to some rather big places. Well, we're going to places like Birmingham, Manchester, and Glasgow. Uh, uh, so uh, there are big, big, big theatres. So we could do with. Um... Have you worked together before? No. Oh. We've got quite intimate, quite fast. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> it's a mad old game, isn't it? I'm, I'm, I'm too old to be cool now. So I, I, I said to Sue, I will bore you one night, or bore you over a pint about Only Falls. I want to know all about it. We got Arthur Bostrom from Alo Alo. I'm going to bore him just one night. Yeah. Uh, um, Andrew, Hall. Andrew, Andrew Hall, Hall from Butterflies, Butterflies yeah. you know, yeah. and one of these people have got very long CVs, but obviously this is what they're famous for. And, and James Holmes from Miranda. So I'm going to bore them individually, one night each. I want to know everything yes. about the. the <laughs> well, a great mix of the cast. Yeah, it's, yeah. nice it's amazing how well, you do have to <laughs> get to know each other as actors, mm. though. You must have done it too. Yeah.